Have you ever had to go to the doctors to get a CT scan of an internal organ? Sometimes doctors will inject a substance into the body so that the organs show up better during particular scans. That substance is in fact a radio pharmaceutical which is used in nuclear medicine. It uses radioactive isotopes to detect and treat diseases. From advances in cancer diagnosis and treatment to recent breakthroughs in Alzheimer's and dementia research, nuclear medicine is improving lives. Oh, hello. Welcome to another edition of Bazaar. In this episode, we will explore the world of nuclear medicine in Iran. We will discover just how this sector fits into the puzzle of Iranian medicine and pharmaceutical markets. Plus, this sector has a special place in the global sphere that we are going to look into as well. So, let's enter today's Bazaar. So, what is nuclear medicine? How is it made? And what are its uses? In order to answer some of these questions, we visited a company that specializes in this field. Pars Isotope was established around two decades ago in Iran's capital city, Tehran. It is one of the most active companies in the field of nuclear medicine. Its activities involve production and development of various radioisotopes, associated equipment and related services in the fields of medicine. All its activities are purely for medical purposes. شرکت پارسیتوپ در زمینه تولید رادیولوژی تشخیصی و درمانی فعالیت داره و این مرکز بر این اساس ایجاد شد که ما بتونیم رادیولوژی تولیدی بر پایه پترو Nuclear medicine is a specialized area of radiology that uses very small amounts of radioactive materials to examine organ function and structure. But it can also be used to treat critical illnesses, especially cancer. This company essentially produces radiation sources and radioisotopes. These items are then used to develop radiopharmaceuticals that can either be used in diagnostic imaging or for therapeutic purposes. تولید رادیودوروهای که در زمینه تشخیص و درمان بیماری‌ها استفاده میشه یکی از کاربردهای صلح آمیز انرژی هسته‌ای هست که سال‌های سال در تمام دنیا ازش استفاده میشه. شرکت ما هم در زمینه تولید رادیودوروها که در دو شاخه تشخیصی و درمانی هستش فعالیت گسترده‌ای داره در این مجموعه رادیولوژی‌های متنوعی برای تشخیص بیماری ها تولید میشه مثل تالیوم 231، گالیوم 67، اف دی جی، ارزان بودی که کریپتون 81 متر استیبل که برای تشخیص بیماری استفاده میشه و یه مجموعه دیگه‌ای از شرکت پارسلو که در تهران است بیشتر در زمینه رادیولوژی‌هایی که برای درمان بیماری استفاده میشه مثل یود 131 جنراتور تکنسیوم 99 متر استیبل For example, one of the medicines this company produces is radioactive iodine. This specialized radioactive drug is used to treat medical conditions affecting the thyroid gland. Another example of nuclear medical treatment is radioimmunotherapy. It is a personalized cancer treatment that can be used for patients with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. یکی از محصولات خیلی پرمصرف در حوزه تشخیص در رادیوداروها FTG هست که در این آزمایشگاه تولید میشه رادیودارو FTG برای اسکن تمام بدن استفاده میشه برای بیماران سرطانی Illnesses in every part of the body can be diagnosed using radioisotopes. For example, you can diagnose cardiac problems using radioisotope technetium. It is the most widely used isotope for diagnosis. These active parts of an element are used for the diagnosis of bone diseases, kidney and lung diseases. Two infrastructures are needed for making radioisotopes. A reactor is needed for some, while other radioisotopes are produced using cyclotrons. This company also designs and manufactures the equipment associated with the production of radioisotopes. 
It also offers viable systems of radioisotope separation. از ابتدا که توسط داخل ماشین سیگلوتران ایزوتوپ اولیه بمباران میشه یا ایرادیشن انجام میشه رادیو ایزوتوپ جرمانیم 68 تولید میشه و ارزم بزرگت این که اون رادیو ایزوتوپ میاد داخل آزمایشگاه فرایند جداسازی رادیو ایزوتوپ صورت میگیره خلوص رادیو ایزوتوپ و در نهایت تولید محصول نهایی و بستبندی محصول که داخل این دقیقه خط تولید انجام میشه یه فرایند نسبتا بلند مدت که حدود دو هفته طول میکشه This firm has a vast research and development department. Key services are provided through its numerous specialized laboratories. These labs are all equipped with the latest technologies needed to get the job done. در این مرکز ما سه تا آزمایشگاه تولید داریم. یه دونه همین آزمایشگاه که در خدمتتون هستیم. تولید FTG و بقیه رادیدارهایی که بر اساس رادیو ایزوتوپ F18 وجود دارن. مثل F2, F کلاین، F LT و بقیه رادیدارهایی که در خانواده فلور 18 هست. دو تا آزمایشگاه دیگه داریم که تو این دو تا آزمایشگاه دیگه رادیدارهای دیگه پت تولید می‌کنیم. آزمایشگاه دوم که به نام سالی تارگت معروف است، یود 123 یود 124 زیرکونیوم 89 و مس 64 تولید میشه. آزمایشگاه سوم ما آزمایشگاه تولید جنراتور گالوژن هست. که برای تولید جنراتور جرمانیوم و گالیوم 68 بنیان گذاری شده The beating heart of this company isn't just its technology but its highly trained and qualified personnel that carry out all tasks and services These employees include nuclear pharmacists, scientists and many more in the field of medicine and technology now, not everyone knows this, but radioisotopes have a very short half-life, meaning that they only last a few hours if they're not protected. It's sort of like melting ice. So quick access to radioisotopes is the most important issue for patients. Packaging and logistics are the most important factor for this access. Nuclear medicine is highly regulated as it uses tiny, delicate material, which can be dangerous. It might be interesting to take a look at how radio pharmaceuticals are packaged. Now, all the medicine produced here are classified as hazardous material. The packages are all labeled with United Nations markings. Radio pharmaceuticals are packaged in various forms and are shipped under strict environmental control. <laughs> دارو هامون رو در کشور اروپایی ثبت کنیم و برای هم منظور اول ماید کیفیت تولیداتمون رو در سطح کیفیت دقیقت استانداردهای اروپایی برسونیم که ما در این مجموعه این کار کردیم یعنی طراحی این مجموعه بر اساس استانداردهای اروپایی بوده و الان در حال انجام فرایند ثبت دارو در کشور اروپایی هستیم که این فرایند زمانبر هست ولی از لحاظ کیفی این مجموعه طوری طراحی شده که با کشور اروپایی یکسان هست. Also, this firm has received its operation permits from the Ministry of Health and Medical Education of Iran, as well as the National Bureau of Standards and the country's Food and Drug Administration. But that's not all. Some of its laboratories are under the direct supervision of the International Atomic Energy Agency. The raw material used to do these activities can be domestically obtained. But also, this company previously has imported some of its raw material from nuclear reactors in Russia and Poland. The firm previously had distributors from Egypt, Pakistan, Lebanon and India. Unfortunately, the company, among many others, was directly affected by the United States sanctions. These sanctions put the lives of many patients in critical need of medical treatment at risk. بعضی از محصولات شرکت ما صادر میشه فعلا بیشتر از خاورمیانه استفاده میشه مثل کشورهای همسایه عراق، پاکستان، افغانستان و حتی تا مصر هم صادر میشه، هندوستان هم صادر میشه. 
Nuclear medicine is just one part of a rapidly growing pharmaceutical industry in Iran. In 2019, this industry in the country was valued at roughly $3 billion. It is expected to grow to well over $3.4 billion by 2024. The government has introduced key initiatives to promote research and development. These steps have helped link academic institutions with research and knowledge-based companies. In 2020, Iran's pharmaceutical exports stood at around $110 million. The major export destination for Iranian medicine was Central Asia. But in recent years, the use of herbal and traditional medicine has increased among Western nations. This has presented an opportunity for Iran to export these products to European markets. Going off of figures from Iran's customs administration, Germany has been one such market. In 2019, it imported around $30 million worth of these goods. Iran currently manufactures 97% of the medicine for its population. Iran also imports a certain amount of medicine for particular ailments. It is also worth mentioning that biopharma products made by the domestic knowledge-based companies and startups are worth billions. About 67% of raw materials for the pharmaceutical industry in Iran is provided by local companies. The country produces 3,000 drugs in 4,000 pharmaceutical variations. Currently, Iran has 15 pharmaceutical faculties which train scores of pharmacists and researchers each year. Also, there are over 120 pharmaceutical companies that produce medicine and 70 factories that produce raw pharmaceutical materials. The Iranian government also implemented policies that support startups in the field of biotechnology and stem cell research. Through these policies, Iran has been able to gain international recognition and is now ranked among the world's leading stem cell research countries. Iran has also invested in the development of plasma therapies as well as infertility treatments. The industry has been thriving, however. The cruel sanctions have created many problems that real people are paying the price for. US officials have time and again emphasized that Iran's pharmaceutical sector is not part of its sanctions regime. But restrictions on international banking and money transfers tell a different story about healthcare access for those who need it. The sanctions have particularly hampered Iran's nuclear medicine sector. Nuclear medicine specialists say, because of the sanctions, importing radioisotopes and related equipment for nuclear pharmaceuticals is impossible. So, manufacturing life-saving treatments such as radioimmunotherapy for cancer patients takes more time than many patients have. The consequence of the redoubled US sanctions has posed serious threats to Iranians' right to health and access to essential specialized medicines. This has caused a lack of critical treatments for epilepsy and patients with rare genetic diseases such as butterfly syndrome, among others. The result has caused many to suffer in the long term and many have lost their lives, which could be prevented. OK, I hope you're ready for a field trip because my good friend and colleague is about to take you on an educational adventure. Enjoy the ride. From the very first step to the school graduation, children's clothes must have it covered. Comfy quality clothes can make happy kids. But how are they made? Follow us and find out. Every single year, at least one million items of children's clothing are made right here at this factory and sold at one of the company's 60 different branches. But to get where it is today, Happy Land had to come a long way. So where did the story of this company begin? مجموعه هپی لند از حدود سی سال پیش مشغول به فعالیت بوده به صورت غیر متمرکز و در سال 85 فعالیت خودش رو 
در منطقه آزاد انزلی به صورت متمرکز ادامه میده. زمینه فعالیت این مجموعه تو حوزه تولید انواع البته هست در تمامی رده های سنی و همیشه سعی شده با حفظ و ارتقاء کیفیت محصولاتش رضایت مشتریان رو جلب کنه. تا جایی که این اهمیت دادن به کیفیت باعث شده محصولات هپیلند که تحت برند روح آلمان شناخته میشن در خارج از ایران هم مشتریان خودش رو داشته باشه و شناخته شده باشه. Iran is a vast country with a variety of colorful cultures, every one of which comes with its own preferences and considerations in style and fashion. Satisfying these unique needs inside the country is in itself a challenge. What kinds of clothes will soon be in season? Which styles are better suited to the taste of a certain region? These are some of the important questions that the factory's design section must answer before the fabric is ordered. The company has been visited by the ambassadors of 30 different countries and exhibited among the top six children's clothing companies of Turkey, a country known as a hub for fashion manufacturers. There must be a secret to this success. So what's special about your products? مزیت محصولات هپیلن قطعا و بدون شک کیفیت این محصولات هستش همیشه سعی کردیم گواهی ها و استاندارد هایی که مربوط به کیفیت هستن رو کسب کنیم و رایت کنیم مثل گواهی اکوتکس صد اروپا که تضمین کننده سلامت محصول برای مصرف کننده هستش در کنار این شرکت هپیلن تونسته به صورت چهار سال صادر کننده نمونه کشوری بشه و صادرات خودش رو به کشورهای ترکیه آلمان و کشورهای دریای خزر انجام بده از ویژگی های دیگه مجموعه اشغازایی بسیار خوبی که ایجاد کرده شامل 500 تن پرسنل خود کارخونه و همینطور 300 تن دیگه در فروشگاه و شعبات مجموعه هست و به جز بحث اشتغالزایی سعی کردیم از طریق برون سپاری کارگاه های رو مشغول به کار بکنیم و از این طریق کسب درآمد داشته باشن در حال حاضر 50 کارگاه مشغول به کار هستن که نمونه های موفقش همکاری با زندان هستش که زندانیان آموزش داده میشن و ضمن این که مهارت یاد میگیرن کار تولید میکنن کسب درآمد میکنن و همینطور همکاری با دانشگاه آزاد استان یزد و کمیته امداد استان یزد که پتانسیل هاشون شناسایی شد، تجهیز شدن، آموزش دیدن و این نکته هم خیلی جالبه که افرادی که تو این کارگاه ها مشغول به کار هستن، سرپرست های خانوار هستن و یا افراد روستایی هستن که اکثرا توسط خود مجموعه هپیلند آموزش دیدن. Prior to starting his company, the CEO has visited over 20 different clothing production lines across the world, which has contributed to the making of the company's highly sought-after products. Here at the sewing section, cotton, polyester, and acrylic fabrics are used to make a million sets of quality children's clothes every year. These sets are then sold at 60 different locations across the country. What's left of the fabric is used for making stuffed toys for children that are safe and void of harmful chemicals. From the fabric to the final product, can you tell us about the production process? پروسه تولید در ابتدای هر فصل توسط تیم فروش شروع میشه یعنی تیم فروش میان بازار رو بررسی میکنن نیازهای بازار سنجیده میشه ترنت ها شناسایی میشن و همه اینها تحت یک سفارش فروش تدوین میشن این سفارش کاملا مبتنی هست بر سبد کالای محصولات مجموعه و تحویل واحد برنامه ریزی داده میشه واحد برنامه ریزی امکان سنجی این سفارش رو انجام میده طرحهای توسعه رو در صورت لزوم پیش بینی میکنه و بر اساس همون برنامه های تولید و طراحی رو تدوین میکنه و ابلاغ میکنه و از اینجا پروسه تولید اون شروع میشه طراحی در مجموعه انجام میشه برش محصولات تولیدشون چاپ گلدوزی بسته بندی شست در صورت نیاز و همه ارسال محصولات هم از همین جا انجام میشه تو کل پروسه تولید باید کنترل کیفیت ناظر بر تضمین کیفیتشون هست و همه محصولات دارای برچسب کیو سی پس هستن Here, some 300 tailors sew around a million sets of children's clothing items every year. 
Just look at the color on this precious little dress. It was embroidered in a matter of minutes. In this section, different designs are given to industrial embroidery machines and the results are carefully checked by those in charge. Unlike certain companies where the customers are the only ones who are provided with a variety of services, here at Happy Land, the employees enjoy a piece of the pie as well through financial support and special services for couples and their children alike. Tell us about your outlook for the future. از چشم اندازه بزرگ و مهم مجموعه ما قطعا گسترش و افزایش صادراتمونه و همینطور افزایش و توسعه مراکز فروشمون چه در داخل ایران چه در خارج از ایران که مشتریانمون بتونن دسترسی آسونی به محصولاتمون داشته باشن هرچند که این برنامه ها تحت شعار بعضی از مشکلات قرار گرفت مثل شوی کرونا و تحریم هایی که وجود داره و امیدواریم که با حمایت هموطنانمون از تولید ایرانی کالای ایرانی و خرید محصولات با کیفیت ایرانی در اقصا نقاط این کره خاکی بتونیم برنامه هامون رو محقق کنیم. Not only has the company survived a variety of challenges over the years, it's also played an active role in improving conditions through providing services such as producing masks in recent months when they were needed most. The COVID-19 pandemic and continued sanctions have added complications to the country's production. But successful Iranian companies keep the fabric of economy together, one stitch at a time. Many thanks. Now, before we go, let's take a look at the news and trends in Iran's pharmaceutical industry, related trades and sciences. It's finally here. After eight years of research, a special type of wound care dressing has been created that encourages growth factors which can speed up recovery. This special type of wound dressing was created by Iranian scientists at one of the companies in Amir Kabir Technology Tower. The dressing is called tebaderm and resembles human skin. It has a structure similar to intercellular matrix and biopolymers that provide human cells with a stress-free environment. This promotes growth factors in the wound and accelerates cell division and the healing process. This relatively new discovery in medical care can be used to treat wounds caused by cuts and lacerations, transplantation wounds, as well as various burns. The new dressing can reduce treatment costs and it is now ready for broad use in hospitals across the country. An Iranian pharmaceutical company has teamed up with a foreign institution to produce a coronavirus vaccine with human trials currently taking place as we speak. The first study of the safety and efficiency of the vaccine began in Iran just recently. In a broad study, dozens of volunteers are to receive the domestically developed shot. In the first phase of the clinical trial, volunteers will receive two shots of the Iranian vaccine within two weeks. The results of the test will be announced roughly a month after the second shot is administered. The vaccine is produced by Shifa Farmed, which is part of a state-owned pharmaceutical corporation. Officials claim the drug will be the first in the country to reach human trials. Last year, Iranian researchers had many scientific breakthroughs in the field of medicine. That was also the year when scientists unveiled four Iranian-produced drugs for cancer and diabetes treatment. Among the pharmaceuticals that were unveiled were the anti-cancer drugs. These vital drugs are used to treat kidney, liver and thyroid cancer. Previously, these chemotherapies were only produced in Germany and the US and were expensively imported. The Iranian version of the product is sold at less than one-tenth of its price on the global market, which is as high as $5,000. Also, generic versions of medicine used to treat diabetic patients were unveiled and offered into the market. Iran is now the third global producer of these drugs after Germany and the US.
Well, it looks like we're out of time for today. There is so much more that can be said about Iran's medical and pharmaceutical sectors, but we will have to leave it for another time. Also, in case you missed it, you can watch the full show on the Press TV website. Take care. I'm Samson Sees. Sees you on the next Bazaar.